Greetings, beautiful creatures. My name is Angel Nightmare. I have a location now to shoot in and also to work on my music. I'm gonna show you guys like a little bit of like, over here is like where we're gonna put a green screen up and start working on the, um, the Friday Nightmare Show. Also got my music set up st stuff over here. And uh yeah. This is this is still a mess. This is still temporary. I'm still we're still working things out as far as space. And uh yeah, that's that's gonna be a thing. So and I'll also start writing for it. Um like I said, if you guys don't know what the Friday Nightmare show is going to be, it's going to be like where I talk about current events and things and then have like random little city, silly, funny stories and, and commentary on current events and viral videos. And it's kind of be on the premises of like Dave Chappelle, Toss.0, where we do like skits and stuff um, for the show. You know, first when it starts off, it's not going to be like as big as we want it to be because of budgeting reasons, but um, eventually down the road, I'm going to launch a Patreon, and then the money from the Patreon is going to pay for things like props, makeup, locations, and shoot at, hiring people from Craigslist to do things in our videos, I don't know, um, just stuff like that. So yeah, there's that. But I just wanted to, this is not, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. What I wanted to tell you was, this year was a roller coaster of good and bad, but reflecting on everything that's happened throughout the entire year, this has been a very good year. This is probably one of the best years of my adult life, even though there's a lot of like fucked up shit going on in the world, like, you know, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I've maintained a really busy lifestyle this entire year, and most of the time I kept to myself and I worked on things to better myself and to better my quality of life. As I've talked about before in previous videos, on why I wasn't posting as much and why I wasn't doing much stuff on the internet was because I was trying to do things etc and I'm still am which is why I'm not posting as much even though I do have a little bit more free time now I've been devoting that to working on my music last year um, I had my own place I was established I was making good money I had a good job uh, good benefits um, I had my own place and I had plenty of disposable income, which is pretty much a dream for most people in their younger 20s. The only thing is, is that I was working a lot and I was working so much that I couldn't sleep and then the rotating shifts was just crazy. To work on the first two Midnight Nightmare albums, like it was literally to the point to where I would work 10 to 12 hours off of only two and three hours of sleep because as soon as I got home I would go straight to working on music and then go straight to doing something for YouTube and then editing videos and then trying to do all of this at once and it was impossible. I mean it wasn't impossible because obviously I did it and I'm, I was doing it all the way up until I moved here to California. I was in a really bad rut not only from the lack of sleep and overworking myself and not being able to like see my friends and hang out with anyone. It's not even just that, it was just the fact that I was so far away from like the majority of my friends. Cause I grew up in Georgia, but I was living in Mississippi because of the job that I was doing. Felt so isolated and alone out there because I couldn't do anything. I was just living, I was just a drone. I was doing the same routine every day, just living the cycle and saving up all this money and getting all this stuff that I just couldn't enjoy. I had made the decision to want to move here like two years ago and I finally did like five months ago. I saved money for that, I sold all of my furniture, I got rid of a lot of stuff, I sacrificed a lot of stuff to, to get here, to be here. I just want to just reflect on my year and everything that I've done this year and just say that my life has significantly got better because I decided to take a risk with my life like moving here everybody was saying oh it's gonna be hard California's expensive what are you gonna do if this happens what are you gonna do if this happens and they were just pretty much trying to convince me not to do it or telling me that I'm going to fail and that I was being stupid doing it just wanted to tell you guys that when it comes to life you should be in control and you shouldn't let anybody else stop you from your dreams or your goals or whatever you want to do and try to scare you out of it because in order for things to get better, you have to take a risk. I'm making roughly the same amount of money that I was with more free time and more flexibility. Like, I literally, like, if I want to play a show or if I want to have a week off or 
to go on tour or to just relax or go to a convention for a weekend. All I had to do was call my boss a couple weeks ahead of time and say, hey, I want to go get drunk or I want to go to a convention and promote my band or do something. And he would be like, okay, I'll switch your shifts to where you can have those time, that time off. And that's incredible. I didn't have that lot of luxury when I was working at Toyota. I mean, it was a great job and it's a good job for anybody. I would have been able to retire from there. Didn't want, I didn't like my life. I didn't like my life there. I was not happy. I can ultimately say just picking, just picking up and moving here was the best life-changing decision that I've ever made because nowadays I'm a lot more happier, I'm a lot more productive, and I'm doing a lot more things that is heading me into the right direction of what I want to do with my life. And I, I'm not just saying that California is like this great magical place that once you move here you're going to be happy um, because in fact not a lot of people like California, like it's overcrowded, um, traffic's bad, it's expensive obviously, but I mainly moved here because I wanted to be around more people that was into arts and entertainment and to creativity and who appreciated art. In the southeast, there there are people that appreciate art and that are into that stuff. Most people in those areas will try to put you down if you try to put your focus or your life or interest into any type of craft or art form. And I just didn't want to be around that. I want to be surrounded by open-minded, free-spirited people that were trying to reach the same goals as me because it helps motivate me and it helps me learn new things outside of what I want to do. And I've already gotten so many ideas of things that I want to do just by meeting and talking to people out here. I can't even just begin to even just think about like how my life's going to unfold like within these next couple of years because everything's good like once my car is fixed it's gonna be it's like almost paid off too like my car is almost paid off have good credit then I can just save for a car uh, I can save for a better car save for a house and I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking with me and being there for me unlike some of my friends in Georgia a lot of them has forsaken me or abandoned me either because I don't live in Georgia anymore and I can't provide them with what I was providing them while I was there or they were mad at me because I was not able to devote the free time to spend with them or talk to them when I went to go visited for the short amount of times that I did it's a part of life you lose friends it does hurt I'm moving on everything's getting better now and I'm just so glad to have so many people to stick with me and actually understand that I'm a busy person. I have things that I have to do and there's also things that I want to do. It is just hard to balance everything. How am I going to take time out of my day to practice piano, guitar, bass, write songs, edit videos, record videos, and then go hang out or sit on Skype or sit on Facebook Messenger all day which I hate doing. Like I don't mind responding to messages and stuff when you guys send them to me but I just don't like, I don't, I don't like small talk. Like I hate it because I feel like it's the biggest waste of time um, even if it's like with somebody I've known for like the past 20 years like like they're just like yo what's up how's the weather like I'm I'm not gonna reply to that shit I hate small talk if you send it like it's in the the preference of like a real letter like you hand wrote this stuff and you stuck it in an envelope and sent it to me like I'm more inclined to reply and and say more things to that but like as far as small talk like I do not do that I hate it I think it's just the biggest waste I'm sorry that I know some people love small talk they derive mental pleasure from just having short meaningless conversations with people but I'm just not one of those people there's nothing wrong with you if you you do like that I just saying that I don't and I apologize if it seems like it takes me forever to respond to messages or if I just don't do it and it's not because I don't like you guys or that you guys are just weird or anything because you're not all of you guys are special to me all of you guys are special in your own way I just it's just hard to focus on multiple multiple upon multiple things what I said about taking risks in life and doing what makes you happy because you only have one life to live and it really sucks because like if if I was in Mississippi still I would be doing the same exact thing every day that I was doing like just that same routine like ever since then I was on tour like I got to go to um, Phoenix I got the vacation in Tucson I got the vacation in Austin I got to see like so many cool things I, I got to meet so many cool people and play with people, play music with people. I've gotten the opportunity to earn music, making music for people. Um, it's, it's great. Like, this is amazing. I've gotten to see a lot of clubs. I've gotten to see a lot of great concerts. Every time I say, like, I've only been here for five months, it's hard for me to believe, like, because, like, five months 
when I was working at Toyota like went by just like that because when you're doing the same thing over and over again when you're following a routine your brain deletes the memories that are the same because it doesn't want to hold on to a bunch of pointless memories since I've had the opportunity to do a lot of different stuff and constantly just do things in different places and go to different places and learn new things it's like it's like I'm a kid again and it feels amazing follow your dreams like don't ever let anybody convince you of otherwise why you shouldn't for whatever reason it may be. Always stimulate your mind. Don't fall into a cycle because that is not what life is meant for. And that's all I have to say.